Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing my January bullet journal setup for 2021. Starting with the cover page, since this theme is cereal, I'm drawing a giant cereal box in the middle of the page, and I'm writing January as the title on the cereal box. I rolled it in cursive, but I had a sketch of the letters underneath to help me get the right placement. After that, I'm outlining the letters to make it pop. Cereal boxes are usually very colorful and have bright colors, but I decided to go with mostly pastel colors for this theme. I was inspired to do this theme after I saw these Korean lunchbox cakes and this cereal makeup packaging. My inspiration comes from weird places sometimes. I'm telling you this because I think you can find inspiration from anywhere around you, even makeup and cakes. You just have to look at things in a new way. For the tablecloth, when the blue lines overlap, it naturally creates darker squares for a checkered pattern. This pattern will appear throughout my setup. I also use a colored pencil sometimes to create shadows and lines. In this cereal bowl, I only stuck with two colors, yellow and red. Using simple colors will keep the focus on the box itself, not the bowl. Now I'm drawing a border to frame the cereal box and I'm coloring the edges pink. I'm using purple to draw the shadow. Purple creates a softer look and also matches the color scheme. Around the page, I just doodled some fruits, like cherries and strawberries. Now I'm adding cereal bits floating around the page. For simplicity, I only use purple and yellow. To really help the page look a lot more fun and colorful, I'm drawing stripes using the main colors in the bottom. I added a few more cereal bits floating around the top, and to add dimension to the box, I added shadows. I went back and outlined the fruits with my black fineliner to add some details and make it look more defined instead of just red blobs. Now I'm just quickly outlining the box and the cereal bowl to make it pop out more. I thought the inside of the box looked a little plain so I'm drawing a red outline with a colored pencil. I wish cereal boxes looked this cute in real life. Onto the calendar page. I'm starting by drawing a standard grid calendar, but I skipped the first week of January because it only has two days. I started by using a ruler, but I realized that freehand was fine since I was going for a doodly and hand-drawn look. On the top of each box, I added a line to create a bar. This is where I'll write the dates. I'm also drawing a notes box on the side. Okay, I messed up so bad on this calendar, I don't even know what to say anymore. First of all, I wrote the days of the week in the wrong order. I was supposed to start on Sunday, but I started on Monday. Secondly, I messed up the dates, so I had to cover them up with paper strips and rewrite them. Honestly, I won't fix the days of the week because I already finished the spread as I'm speaking right now, but I think that as long as I remember that it's one day off, it'll be fine. I guess I'm not really good with calendar and date related things. At the bottom, I wrote start your day with a smile. It's a quote related to morning, which is perfect for this breakfast theme. I created a kitchen table kind of look by drawing the blue checkered tablecloth, and I drew a milk bottle and a cereal bowl on top. What's your favorite cereal? I like granola. I don't know if that counts as cereal or not, but comment down below. To color this cereal bowl, I mix blues and purples together on the plastic to get a darker blue. Then I use the colorless blender to pick up the color and apply it. I also added some to the milk bottle for shading. At the top of writing January in the same way as the cover page. Throughout this whole theme, I really thought about the colors. I wanted it to look bright and colorful but not overwhelming, so I chose the primary colors. I also focused on the placement of the colors by putting pastels next to brighter tones, which makes it look more balanced. For example, I put the pastel pink right next to the bright red here. It's really easy to accidentally make the page crowded when using bright colors, so keeping this simple really helped me avoid that. Now I'll just color my messed up calendar with pink. At the top, I'm creating some fruit and heart doodles. I overlap the drawings in front of the boxes sometimes. I'm drawing the colored stripe again and I'll be adding this a lot throughout my pages. I'm also adding some yellow and purple cereal bits around the page. I'll be sticking with these colors of cereals because it adds a nice balance of color compared to the colors that are already on the page, like pink and blue. Now I'm outlining the red doodles. To create a smooth layout of color, move your marker really fast and go in the same direction. Be careful not to go outside of the lines. Then there will be no streaks. 
I used a white gel pen to write notes because it wasn't as harsh as black and it doesn't stand out as much. Finally, I'll add a purple shadow to everything. Despite the messed up calendar, I think it turned out well. Next is the brain dump page. This page is where I write down all my video ideas, plans, and anything I want. I'm drawing a giant cereal box, similar to the cover page, but this time I'm going to leave the center blank so that I can write stuff in the middle. I also left the cereal bowl empty so that it will look like my ideas will fill up the bowl. At the top, I'm writing brain dump in two different fonts. One is a bubble letter font, and the other is the bubbly cursive font that I've been using throughout this setup. This time, I didn't add a black outline and just made the red outline, which gives it a softer look. At the bottom, I'm coloring the stripes and adding details to the cereal box. I drew a frame around the box, but at the top, I'm adding drips instead of just a straight line. I'm also coloring the top and edges of the box with pink. Now I'll add the red doodles and cereal bits inside the box. I'm adding purple shadows on the side. I'm also outlining the doodles with black to add some details. I'm not done yet, but I wanted to erase the pencil marks before I added the colored pencil since I don't want the colored pencil to erase along with the pencil marks. Lastly, I'm filling up the empty spaces with these peach and grid washi tape. Next is the test tracker. I'm starting by using colored pencil to draw a red grid. This page is for students to track all of the upcoming tests or exams. You can also use this grid to track exercise, expenses, or anything you want. This is a bullet journal, so customizing it is all up to you. Now I'm writing the title in the bubbly cursive font from before. This time, I'm outlining the letters first because I want to leave the insides white. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I was really inspired by the lettering on those cakes, so I tried incorporating some of that into my own style. This page is mostly red and yellow, and I really think those colors go well together. At the bottom, I drew a repeating pattern of cereal bowls and fruit. I didn't want to put too many types of things, so repeating the same objects will make it look like there's a lot of stuff without it looking too crowded. I colored the inside of the bowls darker by layering the ink multiple times. To make the rolls separate, I'm coloring every other one with pink. Now I'll write the categories on the top of each column that I'll put the information under. Since this is a darker red, I used white to help it stand out more. Here are the two finished pages. On to the habit track. This page is where I'll track my habits and see which ones I need to do more often. First, I'm drawing 8 mini January calendars with boxes indicating each day. I'll show you how to use this at the end. Now I'm drawing the outline of the fruit doodles. As always, I'm adding the colored stripe. At the bottom, I'm drawing a little scene. It's a milk bottle pouring into a cereal bowl. Instead of mixing the colors for a darker blue, I just decided to use a dark blue colored pencil. I recommend using a marker if you have one, since it's way faster to color it in. Now I'm adding lots of cereals around the page, and I'm coloring the red fruits. I always like drawing the checkered tablecloth because it's so satisfying to see the darker squares form when you run your marker over the lines a second time. Now I'm adding some purple for the shadows. To be honest, I didn't really know what to do for the title, so I just did whatever. I wish I had thought more about which colors go together because this title doesn't really match the theme. It looks cool, but it looks like fire or something. It doesn't have that cute vibe that I was going for. Then I added an orange gradient and a black outline. I wasn't 100% happy with the title, but I just left it as it was. Next, I'm writing the habits on the side of the mini calendars. I used a red colored pencil for a softer look. To bring everything together, I'm adding this pink border around the page. To use the tracker, you just color in the day whenever you complete the habit. This page is where I'll track my moods. Usually, I'll make the habit and the mood trackers have the same style of title since they kind of go together, but I decided to change this title. I left out the black outlines and the orange gradient which made it look a lot better. I'm drawing all kinds of doodles around the page. I plan on making this a bar graph style mood tracker. I prefer this bar graph style over the colored coded doodle style because bar graphs are easier for me to see my moods. In addition to the standard doodles I've been using throughout the setup, I'm drawing a cereal box, a milk bottle, and a bowl. I plan on making this tracker look kind of like a tablecloth 
with all the items laid out on top. I'll show you how to use this tracker at the end. Since I plan on making this tracker in the background all blue, I'll use other colors besides blue to color the items on top. I drew a yellow border around the page. Now I'm going to draw many stripes across the page diagonally. Each stripe is going to be a bar that I will fill in to track my moods. I'm using a color pencil because I want the lines to be darker. I'm numbering each stripe with the dates of January. I'm also drawing outlines on top of the fruit doodles. To use this mood tracker, just fill up the stripe as much as your mood is. Let's pretend today is the 5th. I'm happy today, so I'll fill it up to the top. The higher you fill the bar, the happier you are. Since each bar is a different length, the bars are kind of their own graph, so you have to fill it up according to how full each bar is, not how long it is. I love how these two pages look together. Next, we have the weekly spread. This is where I'll write my task and to-do list for the week. I'm starting by drawing boxes for each day of the week using a red marker. I drew a bar on top of the boxes for writing the day of the week and the dates. I also colored every other one with pink. Actually, I messed up on the dates again. This time I started one date ahead. I can't believe how many times I messed up on the dates during this setup. At the top, I'm drawing these doodles of cereal bowls, fruits, and milk bottles. I'm also drawing a cereal box on the side. Here's a question for you. Do you pour milk before the cereal or cereal before the milk? I like to put cereal before the milk. Comment down below if you're the same. At the bottom, I'm writing good morning. I also doodled a few fruits underneath. Now I'm creating a yellow checkered tablecloth, just like the blue ones I've been doing for this setup. This time I chose yellow because I think this color goes well with the red boxes. I'm coloring the cereal box with mostly red and pink. I just did a solid blue instead of checkered blue on the box because there was already a checkered pen underneath. Now I'm drawing a bunch of cereal pieces flying around the top of the page. I'm finishing the bottom by coloring the red fruits and colored stripes. At the top, I'm just coloring the objects. I decided to use a little bit of purple to add some shadow underneath all of the objects. I also added a drop shadow under the boxes which makes it look less flat. Lastly, I'm adding some grid and peach washi tapes to fill in the empty spaces. I'm outlining the letters with blue to make it look more colorful. And now for the final flip through. This theme was really unique and I enjoyed making this as the first spread for 2021. If you also enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.